Heritage Sports Podcast, LeBron James has done it. He has broken the all-time point record held by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It is a 43-year-old NBA record at 38,387 points. Uh, it's one of the most hollowed records and is now in his name. It is LeBron James, and every time he scores, he will be breaking that record. I don't know how long it's going to stand, if it's going to be another 40-something years, but it's really impressive. We're going to go over his career averages, milestones, and as promised, we're going to get in our barbershop talk, and I'm going to tell you who I think the GOAT is um, right now in uh, 2023. All right, so outside of him being the unquestioned greatest scorer, he's like fourth all-time on the the assist, all-time assist. Everyone says he doesn't think he's going to catch John Stockton, even himself. He's about 5,000 assists short. But you never know. He wants to play a few more years, so you'll never know where he is. And he has to support that narrative that he's the greatest, uh, that that he's a passer that that can score. But his career averages, uh, points per game are 27.1, rebound per, points, uh, rebounds per game is 7.4, assists per game are 7.4, and his all-time field goal percentage is uh, around 50%. That, that gets you over 38,000 points really quickly. Uh, he's a 17-time All-Star, four-time MVP, three-time NBA champion, and with three different franchises, I think that's a record too. With the with the well, it was four-time NBA champion, excuse me, four time, two times with the Heat, um, once with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and once with the Los Angeles Lakers. He's a multi-Olympic gold medalist, all-time NBA playoff leader in points, rebounds assist and steals which is absolutely insane so my thing i think what where we're getting to is you got to look at his finals record and i get that he's the all-time nba playoff leader in points rebounds assists and steals but to me that's going to be key his finals record is abysmal and that gets me to michael jordan michael jordan statistics all right he has a career average of 30.1 30.1 points per game, uh, rebounds of 6.2, assist 5.3, field goal percentage a little bit under 50% at 49.7. He's a 14-time All-Star, five-time MVP, six-time NBA champion, Olympic gold medalist, all-time scoring leader in Chicago Bulls franchise history, named to the All-NBA first team 10 times so what does that leave us that leaves us in in a whole bunch of um comparisons as far as career averages go i personally think michael jordan is the greatest of all time i mean that, that kind of I, I don't think that could be it could be what i love about lebron he's made it arguable i'll, I'll listen to somebody that says lebron is the greatest of all time i really will and think about what they say after that but the main thing that I can't get away from is LeBron went straight from high school into the NBA. Michael Jordan didn't have that that advantage at that particular time. I'm not saying when he came out of, you know, um, North Carolina, Atlanta, that he would have gone on into the NBA and been able to do what he did. I don't know that for certain. He went to North Carolina, UNC, and and played and and developed. But my point is. LeBron's been playing a whole lot more basketball and a whole lot more continuous basketball. It is insane to think how Michael Jordan had to go through the things he did in the 90s. You know, the things with his dad and him just being burnt out. So he took breaks. And the thing, and what we saw in the last dance, he wasn't finished playing. The Chicago Bulls franchise was in incredibly dysfunctional between Phil Jackson, the ownership, and the GM at the time. So you got to think he took the first break, then he took the second break, and then came back with the Wizards. I truly think if Michael Jordan went through the whole entire time, we wouldn't be having this conversation as far as, like, points go. And the other thing about it is, do we consider Kareem Abdul-Jabbar the greatest of all time? Never. Because even as a little one, like a, a little bitty boy, no one ever talked to say, oh, Kareem's the greatest of all time. People would talk about Will Chamberlain or Bill Russell or or more recent Magic and 
and things of that nature. And then they would say, man, this guy, Michael, got a chance to be the greatest. And he exceeded that. So to me, I think I think you got to understand that LeBron is amazing. I think if we're just talking about greatest, I don't know. Like, I, just the greatest weapon on the floor, like two-way player, I can have that conversation all day. I don't think Giannis will ever be able to replicate what LeBron has done on both sides of the other court in his prime. Same thing with Michael Jordan. Um, I mentioned Giannis because he has the, the comp in today's game of LeBron James to me more than anybody. You think historically LeBron was definitely just like Magic. And if Magic would have played all the way through, I think Magic would have had the assist record if he didn't have his thing, you know, his his 90s parties. But I think Magic um, would have gotten the assist record or made it really, really close and been there with points as well. So to me, just to me, Michael Jordan plays all the way through. We don't have this, these type of things. We don't have these type of, of, of conversations. Other thing, Mike in the finals, went to the finals six times, won six times. He did not get swept in the NBA finals. That would be insane. I don't understand how LeBron got swept, not, not once, but twice, okay? Um, once by the Spurs and then again by the Golden State Warriors. And many, many times people have made, you know, excuse for the fact that this person was young, um, talking about LeBron was young, and uh, the other time he didn't have enough help. I'm like, man, no, no, that's not that's not how we're going. You cannot be – Michael Jordan was the most dominant player in that stretch in the 90s in his era. You can't say that LeBron James was the most dominant person from 2010 to 2020. He was one of, yeah, but you can't say that bar none. You couldn't – so you can't say that about Michael Jordan. Like, in his era, Michael Jordan was it when he started winning his championships. Once LeBron started winning, they had the Spurs, they had the Warriors, and um, they had um, – who else am I thinking about? I'm, I'm missing another team. But my overall point is he wasn't the most dominant. He had to go – to wars with these people to get one championship here, two championships here, another one championship over here. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks come to mind. That's what I was thinking about. So it, it wasn't one-sided for LeBron. He's had to go against different people. So I can't sit up here and say, yeah, he's the GOAT. I'm sorry. I, I just can't. You can't be the GOAT. You got swept twice you can't be the goat and by the way you will war number 23 you can't be the goat wearing the goat number is what i'm getting at so you and unc um can dress up in goats all you want it's not going to get there for me um i can't get i can't get beyond his his finals record i can't get beyond him <laughs> I can't get beyond him going to different franchises. I mean, I think that's super, super impressive. And I think he kick started the phase of, you know, I go where I wanna go. I'm gonna control my own narrative, which is fantastic. But when he went to different franchises, I think that set some things back as far as building blocks and then he he wasn't able to have that continuity to be dominant. To be dominant and take on the Golden State Warriors or to take on um, the the San Antonio Spurs or to take on the Milwaukee Bucks. These people had continuity. The Spurs were together a long time. The Warriors were together a long time, whether they tweaked it or not. And the Milwaukee has that same kind of DNA makeup. When you look at their roster over and over again, it's basically the same people. LeBron has not done that. He's gone to different places and demanded trades and been a, a pseudo GM, or really the GM for the most part. And I think that took away from his opportunities to win a little bit more in, in the current game. But again, tonight is just to celebrate what he's accomplished. I think it's very, very impressive. He still has a long way to go. As far as will his record be broken, I think anything can be broken when you look at it. 
Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's. They didn't think he would get his record broken, but here we are. They got some people that have the opportunity to do it, whether it's, you know, somebody in the league now, league later, that shoot a lot of threes or just a overall score. I think his overall impressive thing will be the assist numbers with it. There will be no other high assist person and high number score like that for a very, very long time. I don't think we've seen that person. Luca is a scoring machine, but he's not an assist machine, you know. Um, Russell Westbrook has so many assists. He averages so many assists, but I don't see him in the league that much longer. He's never going to get up to the to the points uh, that that LeBron has. You know, you talk about Steph Curry. I'm thinking about, you know, how he how he can average um, how many seasons he can average, you know, 30, 29, 28 with his three point play. The problem I have with that is LeBron's gonna keep playing. You know, it's not like he's not he's he stopped playing, he's gonna continue to be the same kind of player. He may not be as explosive, but LeBron has always had that ability to score in many different ways. So I think I don't know if anybody's gonna catch up to him with scoring and assist. I don't think that's gonna be done in a long, 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 long time. I don't see Giannis being that it that kind of score. If Giannis would have been would have expanded his game by now. So and I hadn't seen that. Like he's trying, but I, I just don't see it. So anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. I think LeBron, congratulations, man. Very, very impressive accomplishment. Is he the GOAT? Is he is he the MJ? No. And it is what it is. On the court, off the court. I mean the man Michael Jordan has teams wearing his logo. Like LeBron, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen in the NBA thirty years from now. We got the LeBron logo somewhere. It could, but um, it is what it is. He owns the Charlotte Hornets, and he's done it on and off the court at a very, very high level. But that's just me. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I will listen to anybody saying LeBron's the GOAT, but I think he's he's right there. He's made it arguable. But he has to, in my eyes, win, an, win at least another championship, another, I would say another MVP, and, and go from there. And look, it is what it is, even in LeBron's prime, even in, even in Michael Jordan's prime. No one has been a unanimous MVP but Steph Curry. Mad Michael Jordan would have took Steph Curry out <laughs> before he let him get a unanimous MVP. I do know that. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Thank y'all for listening, and congrats to LeBron James.